Kelly Cootie can't stay healthy. Those tight ends, they're okay, but they're nothing to write home about. And he says, you keep telling me you want me to make these cakes, but you tell me I can't have butter. You tell me I can't have sugar. What am I supposed to do? You want me to make chicken salad out of chicken, you know what? Ain't going to work. Yep. Bill O'Brien, the general manager, has done Bill O'Brien, the head coach, a terrible disservice. And Bill O'Brien, the head coach, has let personal feelings influence him because he skipped. He gave away. I don't care what he says. He gave away DeAndre Hopkins. There is no way you take a generational talented receiver and you swap him for a running back. David Johnson had that one good year, Skip. He hasn't been good before, and he hasn't been good since. And you basically you swap out salaries. Skip, you give the man what he wants. I, and this is the problem. And I'm going to turn it to you, Skip. This is the problem that I have. Teams were quick to say, with two years, three years left on the contract, you signed the contract. You signed it. But they will cut same said player two to three years left on the contract and won't mention anything about they signed the contract. Okay, I agree with everything you just said. And as you know, I'm a big Deshaun fan. I'm no fan of Bill mm -hmm. O'Brien's. I think he's basically a disaster as a GM and that he's not a great coach <clears throat> to boot. I don't think he's a great in-game strategist as we saw in the epic collapse at Kansas City in the playoff game. And I... I, I don't think he's a great play caller. He says he's going to give play calling up this coming year. But the point is, I feel sorry for Deshaun Watson because he did get sideways, did Bill O'Brien with, with DeAndre, who's obviously Deshaun's soulmate. They're both Clemson guys. And when push came to shove, mm -hmm. Deshaun looked for DeAndre. He looked for D-Hop. And now yeah. he can't look for him because Kyler, Kyler is going to be looking for him in Arizona. I get all that. <laughs> But I'm here to say I don't love the strategy of using others to say what you want to say. If Deshaun has something he really wants to say, then tweet it, lay it on the line, say it with your chest, go point blank. Don't drop hints with rap lyrics. Drop a bomb. If that's how you feel, just say you want out <laughs> if that's how you really feel. You know, just just make it totally crystal clear, like broken glass clear to all of us. You're done with Bill O'Brien. I'm good with that. Now, again, to your point, Shannon, they're about to make him a very wealthy young man. And maybe that will ease his unhappiness. But I don't know. He's still stuck with Bill O'Brien and he's still stuck with what Bill gives him. And I don't think he's going to be a real happy camper, even if he gets top of the line money, even if he gets the most money in the NFL. And right. in the end, he's stuck yeah. there because remember, he, he's still got two years to go because he's a first round pick. So they, they can exercise their fifth year option. Then fifth they could tag mm -hmm. him and then they could tag him. They, they could go three more years with him if they, he'd make a lot of money, but he'd be stuck in Houston if that's how he really feels. So there's been rampant speculation. How about the Patriots. How about Belichick going to get Deshaun? How about Bill Belichick offering his two firsts of the, the next two years and maybe a couple of seconds and a third? Give him a Fort Knox of draft picks for Deshaun, and then Houston can take one of the young quarterbacks and start rebuilding. Well, I can tell you this right now. I don't think Houston would do that deal because Deshaun is really no. good and they know it. Desh Deshaun's really... No. Yeah. He's really all they got. I know they still got J.J. Watt. I yeah. know he's been beat up, but it's it's Deshaun or bust. But I, I wish if Deshaun right. were really upset about this, he'd lay it on the line and be a little clearer because I get a little tired of trying to decipher the rap lyrics to, to see what he's trying to tell me between the lines of Drake. Go ahead. Well, hell, Skip, I wouldn't, drop, I wouldn't drop no lines. Hell, I'd take my tail up to, uh, to Bill O'Brien's office. And I make it crystal clear. I make yeah. it abundantly clear that I'm not I, happy I that you traded DeAndre okay. Hopkins. I, I, yeah, I forget I the lyrics. I'm going to go to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm totally with you. And, and again, I think we both pity Deshaun, but I don't think either one of us really love the method with, with which he's expressing his unhappiness. So up next, speaking yeah, of Bill good. Belichick, would, would you believe... 
Bill Belichick, I'm on to Cincinnati, just got nominated for a sports Emmy. Good morning. This is Undisputed on a Friday. This is the day I always wear black. And I wear the chain that Lil Wayne gave me, which as you see today, right here rests on top of the greatest logo ever. This is Wayne on top of MJ. This is GOAT on top of GOAT. Now you should also know that my man Shannon Sharp wears his chain from Lil Wayne just about every day. And I don't know why, yeah. but it has never, ever helped him win one debate from me. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe today is the day. Maybe you're going to see the greatest upset in the history of the world. So I must welcome in my man, Shannon Sharp. Good morning and good luck. Good morning, Skip. But the one thing that's different than you and I is that I, I receive words of encouragement every morning from the goat that's still playing. Oh, that guy, the phony goat. We're gonna get to him in Nato just a little goat. bit here Nato on the Nato show goat. a couple of times. And today, Shannon Sharp, this show is loaded from top to bottom because in just a few minutes, we're gonna get to Jerry Jones making an offer to Dak Prescott to become the highest paid player in the National Football League. And Dak still hasn't signed that deal, what? And exactly. in a little bit, we're going to get to LeBron James making his first public quote since this forced layoff. And he said some outrageous things that I can't wait to talk about. And we're also going to get to a comment that Magic Johnson made yesterday about LeBron James being the greatest player in sports today. I got a big problem with that one. But we start off today, Mr. Sharp, with Bruce Arians talking about no more uh, Antonio Brown rumors going to Tampa Bay because he has flat out slammed the door on that. He was on CBS Sports Network yesterday, was Bruce Arians, and he said, it's not going to happen. There's no room and probably not enough money, but it's not going to happen. It's not a fit here. Then he went on to say, when asked about the fit in the locker room, yeah, I just know him, and it's not a fit in our locker room. So I remind everyone, Bruce Arians was the offensive coordinator in Pittsburgh for Antonio's first two years as a Steeler. And I'm going to remind everyone that Antonio did play one game this past football season with Tom Brady, and they just lit it up together. And all of a sudden, they were BFFs for life. They pledged allegiance to each other publicly via Twitter and IG, and both said, basically, wherever you go, I'm going to go. Even lately, Antonio has been campaigning publicly to join Tom Brady in Tampa, and now Bruce Arians has, boom, slammed that door. So I ask you first up, Mr. Sharp, will Tom Brady have a problem with what Arians said yesterday about AB? Absolutely not. Skip, this should go to show you. Let this sink in for just a second. As accomplished as Tom Brady is, as impeccable as his resume is, as unimpugned as his reputation is, he can't vouch for Antonio Brown because he's poisoned the water so much. Skip, my grandmother had a saying, Skip, and it says, she says, son, be careful of the toes you step on today. They might be on the foot, connected to the leg that leads to the butt you have to kiss tomorrow. Be careful how you treat people today because you never know who you're going to need tomorrow. You see what happened, Skip Bayless? Now me, I played 14 years, had a lot of different head coaches, a lot of different offensive coordinators. Well, three, well, four head coaches, three offensive coordinators. Skip, I guarantee you, if they had moved somewhere else, I can go get a job. I've been in this business, Skip, for probably 15, 16 years. My former boss runs MLB Network, Tony Batiti. But if he went to, to another network and was doing something that, you know what? Hey, Shannon would be great for this. Guarantee you I can reach out to him and I get a job. All my former producers, when I worked at CBS, guarantee you I can go get a job. You see, Skip, there's a reason Antonio Brown does not have a job. 
He thought he was being cool. I'm going to do things my way. I'm my own boss. Bruh, you never going to be your own boss. You're going to have to answer to someone if you play a professional sport. Now, you own your own team. That's a different ball game. But you and I both know, Skip, that's not going to happen. Now he can't get a job. Two types of teams will sign Antonio Browns. Team that is desperate and a team that's a D fool. Anybody that has any aspirations of going to and winning a Super Bowl ain't putting that guy in his locker room. He's poison. He's poisoned the water. He's poisoned the soil. So anything he can skip is called fruit of the poisonous tree. Anything that's around it is poison. Bruce Arians made it abundantly clear. He made it crystal clear.